So in this video I'd like to go over replacing a faulty boot drive in FreeNAS. Currently I'm working on FreeNAS 11.3. What we're going to do is first go on the left here and click on storage. We're going to go to disks and then we're going to see here that we have uh, DA1 which is the boot pool and then we have DA2. DA2 is the drive that I've just uh, installed to replace the old one. Now the easiest way to find out it, which drive is faulty is if you boot up FreeNAS and you go into the interface if you unplug one of the USB drives or one of the boot drives that you have installed and the system continues to work fine and the web interface works fine then you know that you've pulled out the faulty drive if you pull out one of the drives and the system stops working you know that you've actually pulled out the working drive now what's nice about FreeNAS is it actually shows you the serial number of the drive itself why this is nice is you can actually take the last four digits of the serial number and you can actually look on the device and see which drive it's referring to. Uh, now on flash drives they don't actually typically print the, the serial number on, on the back or the bottom or wherever. Uh, so what I recommend to do is any of the flash drives that you're using, if you're using a flash drive for your installation, is to actually print with a piece of tape or uh, with a label printer or something. Put the last four digits of the serial number on the drive so if it ever fails it's a lot easier to figure out. Also get uh, flash drives that have an indicator light on them so that when they're actually having activity to, to get one with an LED so you can see it flashing when it's working. So uh, I've already removed the faulty drive and we can see here that uh, DA2 is unused. What we're going to do is before we do anything we're going to wipe it. So we're going to click the drop down here. We're going to click on wipe and we're going to say yes, continue. We're just going to do a quick wipe just to make sure that uh, whatever file table that was on it is going to be what FreeNAS wants it to be. Uh, so then what we're going to do is we're going to go to system and then we're going to go to boot and we can see here that we have uh, the default uh, boot, um, boot space here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top right where it says actions and we're going to go to boot pool status. Now we're going to see here that we have uh, DA1P2 as it shows that this one is online. So this is this is the pool between the, the two flash drives. And uh, we can see that this one has failed right here. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the three dots. And we're going to click on replace. And then it's going to give us a menu here of the drives that we want to replace it with. So we know that DA2 is the drive that I've just replaced it with. We saw that back in the uh, in the disk list. So we're going to click on that and ignore this uh, DA0. I don't know what that is. Uh, that was probably me fiddling around with it uh, at an earlier time. So DA2 and we're going to hit save. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look over to the drive and I can actually see it flashing, the, the new flash drive that I installed. I could see it flashing. So what's happening is the, uh, the original flash drive is replicating from the original boot driver, the still working boot drive, and it's copying over to the, the new flash drive. So it's going to take a while uh, for the, the two drives to, to mirror each other. But once the, what they call the resilvering, once it copies everything over then the system will be back to normal again so hopefully this video was helpful to anybody that's doing this i looked all over the internet on how to do this and i could not find a video that was uh quick and easy like this they said the, the easiest things that i saw on the internet were to basically uh, replace the drives, put in a, a boot CD, and then just copy everything over. And it was just like, I, I don't want to get out my boot CD. Let me just copy it. And there is, there is a way to copy everything over. This is the easiest way to do it. So if you guys like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe for more. Uh, I do a lot of crazy stuff on this channel. It's not just computer related. It's also uh, technical related. Uh, deal with a lot of interesting things. Uh, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.